you want to hold Bitcoin in self-custody, you'll need to decide which wallet structure you're going to use. The two main structures for securing Bitcoin are single SIG and multi SIG. In this video, we'll dive into the differences between them for securing Bitcoin wealth and why you might actually want to use both for your Bitcoin custody setup. Let's get started. First, let's talk about single SIG, which is short for single signature. This describes a wallet structure where only a single private key is required to sign off on spending Bitcoin out of the wallet. It's the oldest and most basic method of holding Bitcoin, and for these reasons, over 70% of the total Bitcoin supply is currently held in this manner. If you set up a single SIG wallet, you'll be responsible for keeping that one private key safe. A private key is just randomly generated secret information. The information can be generated by a smartphone or an offline tool such as a hardware wallet but it should also be recorded physically as a seed phrase. This will mean keeping a set of 12 or 24 words secure in private. Single SIG wallets are easy to set up, which is great for beginners to learn about Bitcoin and practice using it. Single SIG is also convenient for frequently withdrawing Bitcoin because only one private key is needed. However, for securing substantial Bitcoin savings, many people have found that single SIG alone does not provide an adequate level of security and comfort. With just one key that could be lost, stolen, or destroyed, you have a single point of failure, and it's easy to imagine scenarios where you could lose your Bitcoin forever. In the interest of gaining protection from loss or theft, single SIG wallets can be modified using standardized tools or improvised strategies. These modifications can help a wallet become more robust against particular concerns, but each approach comes with drawbacks. Let's briefly touch on some examples. First is seed phrase copying. You might think to make copies of your private key and store them in separate locations. This can reduce the risk of losing your key entirely, but it can increase the risk of a thief finding one of the copies. Another strategy is seed phrase encoding. Altering a private key or concealing it inside other information can reduce the risk of theft, but it can increase the chances of losing your Bitcoin due to mistakes or forgetting how to decode your own key. A third approach is making multiple different single SIG wallets to spread out funds. This can eliminate single points of failure for your entire Bitcoin balance, but on the other hand, it can increase the risk of losing a portion of your Bitcoin balance. BIP39 passphrases are a standardized modification with advantages and disadvantages similar to seed phrase encoding. Passphrases can help protect Bitcoin from theft, but they can also unintentionally lock you out of your own Bitcoin. Along the same lines is a tool called Seed XOR, which is yet another method of reducing the risk of theft at the cost of adding new pieces of information that can be lost, which would cause you to be unable to access your own Bitcoin. Last on the list is Shamir's Secret Share, which is a modification that comes the closest to protecting you from both theft and loss, but it still doesn't remove all single points of failure entirely. Signing a transaction to withdraw funds is one of the points of vulnerability that an attacker might try to exploit. So if all these single SIG modifications fail to solve the problems associated with securing your long-term savings, what should you do? Multi-SIG is the answer. This fundamentally different method of holding Bitcoin allows you to achieve the highest level of security for your money and remove all single points of failure in your custody design. It's also fully customizable, allowing you to create a multi-SIG setup that fits your needs. The most popular multi-SIG arrangement is called two of three. This means that there are three private keys and any two of them can spend funds from the wallet. If you create a wallet like this and store the keys in separate locations, you'll be protected from both loss and theft. If one of the keys became misplaced or destroyed, you could react by using the remaining two keys, moving your Bitcoin to a safer wallet. Or if a thief found one of your keys, you could do the same thing and they would be unable to access your Bitcoin in the meantime. We encourage you to check out our other video that focuses on multi-sig if you want to learn more about it and how it's used. Although multi-sig is the most secure method for holding substantial Bitcoin long term, it comes at the cost of being less convenient. Needing to coordinate multiple keys in several locations can be challenging if you need to withdraw Bitcoin regularly. Multi-sig wallets can also lead to higher transaction fees, which could be another deterrent for frequent withdrawals. In addition, multi-sig can be trickier to set up correctly for someone who is less technical or new to Bitcoin. If you'd like an industry expert to help you set up a multi-sig wallet and even help manage a non-controlling portion of the keys, then it's worth looking into a collaborative custody service such as Unchained. In conclusion, it's clear both single SIG and multi-sig have their strong suits demonstrated by the chart on your screen. Single SIG is great for simplicity 
simplicity and convenience, while multi-sig offers substantially more security. Instead of picking one or the other, you can actually use both simultaneously for different purposes. It's a popular strategy to use a multi-sig vault for Bitcoin savings and a single-sig mobile wallet compatible with the Lightning Network for holding a smaller amount and conducting easy transactions with other people. We hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a like and help us share it around. You can also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and we hope to see you in the next one.